Hello Church! How are you today? Of course, it's nice to say you are blessed and highly favored. Amen? Like I said before, whatever you ask to God by faith in prayer, it will be happened to you. And whatever you say in positive thinking, positive in your mouth, it will be happen also to you. Amen? So always say, you are blessed and highly favored. You are blessed by Jesus and highly favored by God. Amen? Have you ever felt like it would be easier if Jesus were right there next to you? Well, Jesus himself said, we have something better, the Holy Spirit. And having the Holy Spirit is better than having Jesus here in His physical body. John chapter 16, verse 7. Amen? My dearest beloved, we need to think about all the time. We need to pray and believe Whatever you ask in prayer, it will be happen to you. Remember, remember this, my dearest brother and sister in Christ. Church, Jesus lives in all born again believers by the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you were born again, mankind's sinful nature was taken out of you and replaced with God's nature. The indwelling spirit should be like a river flow out of us and the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. Amen? Remember, Jesus loves you and so do we. I love you guys. Please don't forget, share and comments below. And uh, hit like and subscribe to my video. Bye for now. And here's the one I want to share to you. You need to meditate the word of God. Meditate the word and meditate. Whatever you ask to God, meditate, it will be happen to you. If you need money, ask God for money. Ask for the blessing, how you can get the money. Ask for the wisdom and knowledge, and God will show you the wisdom. We need to trust to God all the time. We need to trust to our beloved Jesus Christ. We need to trust for healing. We need to trust for our um, financial. And we need to trust for whatever we are doing in our life. Trust to Him. And we need to trust also for your ministry. God will bless your ministry and God will touch all the people to open their mind. They are blessed and highly favored. Amen? And the key, please read Luke chapter 6 verse 38 and Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. And if you want the healing works with you read isaiah 53 verse 4 5 and 6 that verse that verse i carry that for a long time isaiah 50, 53 verse 5 because of the stripe of Jesus, we were healed. I don't know that is in Isaiah 53 verse 5. When I have epileptic seashore before, from 
when since I was born, I have epileptic. Until the age of 20 years old, my mother, she's always taking me in the doctor. Just a little bit my when my eyes is going up, when my mouth is going different direction and bubbles in my mouth and my arm uh fingers going like this and my feet is going different like that my mother she is very scared but when my age at the time i was 20 years old and i have epileptic again and i said to my mother enough i don't want to go into the doctor this is the day i'm old enough and i want to claim by the power in the blood of jesus i am healed i am healed i am healed in the name of jesus praise the lord since I was young until 20 years old, I have epileptic all the time. I'm so shy in our school when I'm angry to my classmate. After that, I feel like electric is going up to my body and to my arms. And after how many minutes? I don't know how many minutes when it's going up that electric my hand is bending different direction and my feet is bending different direction and it start my jaws is going in different way i feel like i'm retarded thanks god thanks god thank you jesus when i asked to my mother at the age of 20 years old when I felt I have epileptic again, I said, this is the time. I don't want to go into the doctor and I want to claim the blood of Jesus. Because of his blood, I am healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because of the blood of Jesus. Isaiah 53 verse 5 Since I was 20 years old year 1990 until now I never went in the doctor and I am healed from epileptic seizure praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen amen praise god and another blessing of healing from god when my husband got a stroke december 28 2020 still we never went to the doctor for healing we trust we trust to our beloved, to our beloved Jesus, to our precious Jesus, to our doctor, only our beloved Jesus. He is our doctor. In that day when my husband got a stroke, I claimed the power of God. I claimed the power of Jesus. Isaiah 53 verse 5. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When the first day my husband got a stroke, he cannot stand up. When he's trying to stand up, he just stand up like that. He cannot make it like this. When he wants to go pee in that first day and second day, he walk like that. 
He almost banged our wall, but he banged our door, and the door is broken. God is so good. God is so good. He is really so good. And God gave us the good wisdom, what we need to do. We never been in the doctor. He never take any medicine. Just the vitamins. And also, God is there at the time when my husband got stroke. Even my husband, he experienced that for getting hard time to walk, getting hard time to stand up. Praise the Lord. In 10 days, God did the miracle to my husband. He stand up straight and he walked straight and he's going out and cut the grass get the lawnmower and cut the grass our grass front and in the back and also in our neighbor's house praise the lord praise the lord because of jesus because of him we trust to him I want you to believe, my dearest brother in Christ, Jesus is alive. Jesus, He is our God. He is our Lord. He is our King. He is our healer. Trust to Him. When you ask for healing, when you pray for healing, Jesus is your healer. Because of Jesus, because of Jesus, our great doctor, our great physician, we never went any doctors for healing because of him. I am healed. Because of Jesus, I am, I am healed from epileptic seashore. Since when I was young until the age of 20 years old, now I'm 52 years old. Because of Jesus, when he got, when my husband got healed from his stroke in 10 days, he started driving the car and we start going to the gro grocery store for shopping and he's always doing the gym every day praise the lord praise the lord listen guys my dearest one my dearest brother in christ and sister in christ you need to put your heart to god most of the people they pray for the healing but they are still taking the medicine they pray for the healing after that they going to the doctor I'm not against to the doctor, but I want to tell you to everyone, once you pray for healing, believe you are healed by the stripe of Jesus. Use your faith. You are healed. And you will see, you will get healed. Amen? Amen. I'm sorry to say this one, but 
I feel hurt when the people they know Jesus and then after that he's going to the doctor for the healing so that's why it takes longer to get healed instead of boom instantly you will get healed when you claim the power of God when you claim the power of Jesus by his stripe we are healed claim that right now if you are in the bed right now accept God is your healer accept God is our great position accept God will do miracle for you the secret is meditate his words and meditate whatever you ask whatever you ask to God if you ask for healing if you ask for financial if you ask for the job if you ask for the promotion you need to believe and accept and confirm even it's not there yet claim you hold already and it's here already in my hand when my husband has um, a stroke I say to God thank you Jesus thank you for the healing and I command stroke get out gone to my husband in Jesus name amen praise the Lord in 10 days my husband got recovered from the stroke can't stand up can't walk and when he's trying to stand up he stand up his body is bent like this he cannot straight but thanks God because of my faith my husband got healed in 10 days by the blood of Jesus by the stripe of Jesus amen you need to use your faith when you pray you need to use your faith remember find the verse about about faith in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 new King James Version so then Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. In Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Amen. Amen. I will say it again. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Amen. So when you pray, you need to believe whatever you pray and it will be yours amen amen even you didn't see yet you need to believe i will give you another verse again okay um in hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see 
Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Even you didn't see yet. You need to claim. It's there already in your hands. If you're asking the job, claim you have a job already. If you ask the promotion, claim you have the promotion already. Amen. You need to believe. You need to believe because in Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. For we live by faith, not by sight. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. In Romans chapter 15, verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope, with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and loose by the wind. James chapter 1, verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. In Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6. Then Jesus said, did not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. John chapter 11, verse 40. If you can, Jesus said, everything is possible for one who believes. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Keep asking, my dearest one, my dearest beloved, my dearest church, because God gave us the authority already what you need to rebuke and what you need to command and what you need to ask. In James chapter 3, remember, uh, cha James chapter 1, verse 3, remember this verse. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Amen. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, believe in him and are filled with an and ex inexpressible and glorious joy for you to receiving the end result of your faith the salvation of your soul first peter 1 verse 8 to 9 and i will tell you i want to share this in John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26, Jesus, sa Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. If you believe, you will receive 
whatever you ask for in prayer. Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. First John chapter 5 verse 4. Accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters. Romans chapter 14 verse 1. But you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 11. Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and follow Jesus along the road. Remember, if you ask for healing, you need, to, you need to have faith and believe. You will get healed. Amen? Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2, if I have the gift of prophesy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can have mountains that, um, but do not have love, I am nothing. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me, will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. John chapter 6, verse 35. In Psalm 119, verse 30, I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set my heart on your laws. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 3, be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Philippians, uh, no, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. For it is with your heart that you believe and you're justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Romans 10.10 10. And by faith, even Sarah, who has passed uh, child's bearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful who had made the promise in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 11. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. So in Christ, Jesus, you are all children of God through faith for all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 27. All that verse is teaching about faith, teaching about how you believe when you pray, you will receive it if you use your faith. Amen. Thank you, Father, my heavenly Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus, for giving the blessing to each one of us 
to each one of uh, my viewers today, to all my brothers and sisters in Christ, and to all non-believer, I ask for the wisdom and knowledge. Bless them all. Bless them all, Jesus. Whatever they ask for in prayer, touch their heart. Touch their heart. To open their mind and their heart to see you. You are my real Jesus. You are my real God. You are my healer. You are a real healer. Thank you for the wisdom and knowledge. Thank you for answering our prayer. My Abba Father, my precious, beautiful Jesus, and my beautiful Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Stay with us, God, and work with us. And we want to work with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Please don't forget, subscribe to my video, share, hit like, and comments below. And if you have question, please, I really appreciate your question. And thank you for watching and listening. Bye for now.